This is an RTX 2060 graphics card. It has been running in my PC for about one and a half years. It is a Gigabyte OC variant, but there is one little problem with this GPU and that is it runs quite hot. And to make this video, I tested Red Dead Redemption on it. And on the left hand side of the screen, you can see the RTX 2060 in its stock state, like the way it came from the factory. And on the right hand side, we have the card repasted using the Thermal Grizzlies Cryonaut Thermal Paste. So as you can clearly see, there is a big difference of about 15 degrees in the maximum GPU load temperatures, which is quite significant. And in this video, I will walk you through the entire procedure that I took to replace the stock thermal paste with one of the best thermal compounds available on the market. And by following along this video, you will get an idea about how you can do the exact same thing for your GPU and can get a massive drop like this in the max load temperatures. So in order to replace the stock thermal paste, you will need to remove the cooler from your card. If you haven't done anything like this previously, then it might sound a little invasive. But trust me, it is nothing difficult or complex. Just go ahead and watch a disassembly video of your particular GPU model to get an idea of how everything is to be done. And it won't be a difficult thing to get your GPU and its cooler separated. By the way, if you decide to do this, then make sure you take all the risk on your own. Removing the cooler from your GPU is nothing very difficult these days. But if you are not sure about doing all this, then it's all your call. So once you have the card and the cooler separated, you will need to clean the cooler and the GPU's die. I will suggest everyone to use some isopropyl alcohol along with some tissue paper to clean both the surfaces. And once you are done with the cleaning, you'll need to apply some fresh thermal paste to your GPU's die. Now it is really important to use thermal paste with some high heat transfer rate like the Thermal Grizzlies Cryonaut because we want the best heat transfer from the GPU's die to the cooler and to do that we need a thermal compound with a high thermal conductivity. Once you have reapplied the new thermal paste, just reassemble the card back and you are done. From here the results that you will be getting will depend on the condition of your graphics card. If the condition of your GPU was really bad, if it was really dusty, if your thermal paste was really dry, then you are sure to get a big temperature drop. It could be as high as 20 degrees too. But if your GPU is new, let's say it is about a month or maybe just six months old, then you are still going to get a drop. But in that case, don't expect a big drop like a 15 or 20 C drop. You will be getting a drop of about five to seven degrees. If you are going to use some good quality thermal paste like the Thermal Grizzlies Cryonaut, Noctua's NTH1 or maybe some other high quality thermal paste. Now talking about the thermal paste, it is really important to use some good quality paste here if you want to get a big drop. I would suggest you to use the Noctua's NTH1 if you cannot find the Thermal Grizzlies Cryonaut or if the Thermal Grizzlies Cryonaut is a little expensive for you. The NTH1 has been a really good compound. I have been using it for quite a while and I have really liked the way it spreads and the performance is really good. It is really close to the Thermal Grizzlies Cryonaut when it comes to the heat temperature numbers that you get. So this is the little video that I wanted to do on how you can reduce your GPU temperatures. It is a little invasive for some I know removing the cooler of your card can be something a little difficult for a few of you but if you can do it then you will be getting some phenomenal temperature numbers and i will suggest you to do it if you can so this is it for this video i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you want to see content like this in the future then please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or queries then the comments section is down below please mention it and i'm going to make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.